Well, here's a strange story for you. California authorities have forcibly removed a five-month-old baby from his parents' care after the couple pulled their baby from the hospital. The parents took the baby to the Sutter Memorial Hospital in Sacramento after the baby, Sammy, was um, showing flu symptoms. Nurses at the hospital reportedly began giving the baby doses of antibiotics. The doctor later admitted that the baby should not have been given those drugs. The baby also has a heart murmur, and doctors begun to uh, talk about giving the baby open heart surgery. Now, wanting a second opinion, the displeased couple um, actually took the baby out of care, Anna and Alex Nikolev. Um, they removed this baby Sammy from the hospital without filling out the proper discharge forms. As a result, the baby was taken into uh, Child Protective Services custody. Now, RT International actually caught up with the family, and here's what they had to say. We've been shocked when they walked in our door and just, they all they've been saying is just, let us see your son if he's okay. And I said, I'm holding him in my arms. He is okay. You can take a look. And they're saying, give me your child. And that's when they took away no paper, not so ever. They've been providing and they just walked out of our door. Was any reason given behind the 9-11 call from the hospital after you took your own child to another hospital for a second opinion? I mean, have they given you any reason whatsoever? Um, they say uh, that he is in an emergency, that he is almost dying, that he needs medical treatment, and that, that he needs, needs to get back to the hospital immediately. Do you believe this? No, he was fine. He was laughing. He was eating. He was a normal child, a normal baby to go home. And he was released from that from the other hospital that we took him to. The doctor released the baby and uh, did a statement, said the, the parents are uh, basically good to go home with their baby. The baby is safe in their arms. Very interesting. Now, taking a step back, social networks, uh, they are uh, a way for you to get support. And you said Facebook shut down a page that you set up to get support for your case. Did they give you any reason why they closed down this page? No, I think it has everything to do with the government. We got a lot of support. We got a lot of prayers, a lot of people who were there, you know, just praying for us. And all, all of a sudden, the first um, Facebook page I blocked, we called Facebook, basically my sister in law called Facebook, no answer. Every question that she was asking them, there was no answer coming back. We opened a second Facebook page for support. Same thing happened again. Your child hasn't been allowed home in four days. What, what's going through your mind? It kills me. I don't have my baby with me at night time. I just visiting him, like been visiting him three times since today for an hour. And uh, you're leaving at seven o'clock with, uh, again, an empty heart going home. Your baby's not with you. You're just feeling empty. There's missing something in you. And we're just waiting for tomorrow's day just to, you know, like, Coming in this court, hearing good news, taking your baby, going home, or going to a different hospital. We'll keep you updated as the story develops.